We welcome you back to ESPN's continuing coverage of the World Series of Bowling coming your way from just outside of Detroit. While we're away, Jason Couch in the fourth, leaving the 6-7-9. Tough pickup, but Baby! he was able to convert the spare. And then Couch in the fifth, leaves the three pin and makes that spare as well. Fagan in the fifth. Strike. Ditto in the sixth. And Fagan, you're really starting to see that confidence come out in the youngster right now. We go back to live action. Couch up in the sixth. Wow. Well, confidence was something that was missing in Jason Couch's game early on here at the World Series of Bowling. But the confidence is back after finishing 17th at the Scorpion Championship last week and making the show this week here on the Shark. His 17th year on the tour. Nice, had some nice spare conversions today. There's his pregnant wife, Kim. Due in mid-February, bringing the total to four kids in the couch household. Get the right move. Yes. There's his third strike of this match, coming in the seventh frame. That'll help cut into the deficit. Jason hasn't won since late January of 2007, when he took the Motel 6 Classic in Henderson, Nevada. And Michael Fagan still seeking his first singles Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour title. Come on, 10! All right, good shot. Good shot. Everyone wants to know when is Fagan going to win that first title, and that's something he gets asked quite a bit. I think a lot of people are, you know, wanting to know when I'm going to do it, when I'm going to do it. But in my opinion, I think that it's going to happen. And, you know, when I do win one, you know, it, it could open the floodgates and I could just uh, get in a little groove and hopefully win a bunch. Rob, I think he's got a bright future. I, I think with the experience that he's, that he's getting by being on television along with a great physical game, as soon as he ties the two together, uh, you know, he's going to win a lot of events out here. And who knows, it might just happen today for him. match. Jason Couch now steps up in the eighth looking for his fourth and looking for a double. And Jason Couch now knows that it's crunch time. I got to throw two more right here so I end up with a three bagger. That's all it's going through his mind right now. I like that one. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He went high the last time on that lane, made the adjustment, threw it really, really good really? to only leave a six pin. Well, he's one of the most successful bowlers of all time, but Jason Couch will admit he had a rough start to his pro career. First two weeks I bowled, no cash, no cash. Call my mom from Vegas, coming home. I don't have what it takes to be out here. And she said, that's fine. All your stuff will be on the lawn. Pack it up. Get in your car. Go get a job. I went, all right, Mom, I'll stick it out a few more weeks. <laughs> here we are, 2009, 15 titles later, and, and have had a blast out here. Oh. Well, Kim knows the score, and she knows that it's not looking real good right now. And Jason Couch is going to need a lot of help from Michael Fagan. 
spare here. He's going to be at 191. He can strike out for 201. His wife, Kim, actually a former media director for the PBA. So she knows, she knows how to keep score, Rob. Fagan, you look at the, the scoreboard today for him in the semifinal. I, I don't see a bad shot. Yes, he had an open frame in the fourth where he kind of picked one out of the double wood, but even that leave wasn't all that bad. It's just a little light. Yeah, baby, come on, Detroit. Yeah, he seems to be getting out of his shell right there. That's daddy lockups there, babe. Michael Fagan's gonna bowl for the title here at the Shark Championship. Look at that shot. It's good stuff there, good stuff. D for done. Fagan moves on to the title match of the PBA Shark Championship. And when we return, it's semifinal number two. Oh, the big nasty is back. Last season's Player of the Year, Wes Malott, takes on the veteran, Jack Jurek.